Hi everyone, here's the Chemist once again. Today I'm reviewing My Name is Lucy Barton by Elizabeth Strout, a novel which struck me first and foremost for how pleasantly and how fast it flows. I read it in a single sitting, in a single afternoon, this is really, it's, it's basically a novella, it's a very short novel, and it flows amazingly fast. From page one it got me hooked and it's written in such a beautiful and elegant writing style that you just can't stop reading about the story of this woman. This is not a book with that many thrills. Uh, I'm not only talking about, you know, monsters or explosions, I'm talking also about plot, big plot twists. Uh, there's not that many of those in this book. It's not like they're not there, but it's, it's not based on those. But just for the sheer pleasure of, you know, experiencing this writing style, you won't be able to stop reading. For such a compact and short novel, this touches upon so many topics. It talks extensively about city life and life in big cities, especially when experienced by someone who grew up far away from any major urban center. This, uh, this main character lives in New York, but she grew up in the rural Midwest. Uh, it talks about growing up poor, poor as in, you know, uh, it was cold in your home and you didn't really know where your next meal was going to come from uh, and how that shapes your entire life, basically. In general, it's about that cr crucial topic in literary history, uh, how our childhood, how our early experiences shape the rest of our lives. In this sense, this book tackles that complex topic of how it is to grow up uh, coming from such a background, how people behave differently toward you when they learn where you come from, how that shapes your whole experience of everything, from major things to everyday situations and friendships, and it deals with all of that with so much sincerity and so much intelligence. It's a very mature novel and the best adjective I can probably use to describe this is delicate. This is a very delicate book. It deals with delicate topics in a very tactful way, uh, which does not necessarily mean it is not able to pack some punch when it needs to. And uh, remember I mentioned that there aren't that many major plot twists there's still a few moments in here that are going to, you know, give you goosebumps um, in a good way, but also in a bad way, but in a bad way that in, in itself is sort of a good way. You have to read to see what I to read the book to see what I mean. Uh, the main topic, though, of this whole thing is probably familiar love, uh, the love of a daughter for her parents and her siblings, and the way families are basically fucked up. All, all families really are sort of messed up. Uh, it's really difficult to uh, rank families on a chart of uh, more or less messed up. It, it's really, everything's really relative. It deals with the, the fact that, you know, sibling rivalries evolve uh, once you grow up. Feelings such as jealousy and envy tend to take very nasty shapes. And in general, it deals with that idea. It deals very cleverly with that idea that you have to love these people who are in your family. You can't not love them even if you wanted to, but at the same time, while painfully aware of how their behavior uh, shaped your, your existence, sometimes in rather horrible ways. Besides being about all that, this is also a book about writing, and uh, the story of how this main character became a writer is basically the novel's sort of a secondary plot, uh, became a writer in the American sense, as in I'm going to take an expensive writing course with a famous writer and I'm going to send my stuff to magazines uh, and get published. Uh, you know, writing as a career, uh, once again, in the American system. Uh, on that front, I know absolutely nothing about Elizabeth Strout, for all I know she's a marine biologist, but it seemed to me very clear that that secondary plot was the, the classic, the, the classic, you know, the, the main character is an alter ego of the writer, and this plot is used to discuss the writing process, maybe the, the writing process of the novel itself. It, that secondary plot, all those reflections about writing, seem to me a little bit presumptuous. Not necessarily in a bad or, or in an extremely arrogant way, but this is the kind of book that's full of reflections such as, you know, uh, you write to get in touch with the disturbing side of your past, or you, you write to get to know yourself uh, fully. This is not necessarily what the book claims, but those kinds of reflections, which I find extremely funny because I'm a literary scholar and it seems to me that in the 2000 years since Jesus Christ was born, uh, we really haven't <laughs> decided at all what writing is all about. So these kind of strong opinions on writing is about discovering the reality of life. 
they sound to me a little bit uh, excessive. Uh, I have to, to say two things though. The first one is that uh, at the end of the day, if you asked me what writing was about, I would say that I don't know and I would say that it's probably about, you know, keeping your head low and making your hands go, go like this, making your hands go actually like this. And this book achieved that beautifully. Again, this is an amazing page turner. And uh, while being 100% literary fiction, while being uh, not, not really plotless, but uh, while not being necessarily plot oriented, it flows beautifully. And I also have to say that um, if you consider this book as a closed system, if you consider this book's story world, uh, in this book, be, uh, if writing in this book is being about discovering the disturbing side of your past and being honest about what makes you suffer, uh, about your recollections, then it, you have to admit that the main character does that beautifully. If you judge the book by its own uh, standard of judgment, this is actually kind of a masterpiece. By now you've probably understood what type of book this is. It's the, you know, it's the type that gets shortlisted for the Booker Prize. It was actually longlisted for the Booker Prize. Uh, it's not necessarily the book I'm usually a big fan of, but I actually liked uh, My Name is Lucy Barton a lot. I thought it was uh, a complete pleasure to read, even just to experience how wonderfully written it was. Let me know about your experience with the book, if you've read it, let me know about the rest of Elizabeth Strout's production and Hoover. I'd love to, to dig deeper into her works. Uh, and thank you for watching the video once again. I will see you in our next review. Bye, guys.